In order to install .NET Nuke version 5, head over to the domain menu where you wish to have it installed. Then scroll to the bottom and click on Application Packs. Next, look for .NET Nuke version 5 and select it. Now you'll be asked to enter a few parameters. The first one is the installation folder. So in this case, we're going to run .NET Nuke 5 of a subfolder called DNN5. Next will be my database, and I'll select a new database to run this application. Then the database type. I know that .NET Nuke runs on SQL Server 2008, so I'll leave that selected. And then the database name, along with a database username and a password. Then just select install. At this point, the control panel has deployed or installed all of the services and files required to run .NET Nuke. So the next step will be to click on the link we provide here in order to finish out the installation via the .NET Nuke installation wizard. So we can just go ahead and do a typical install and leave our language as defaulted to English. And the next part, you can um, test the permissions on the server to make sure everything is up to par. And it seems like everything is looking good, so we'll go ahead and click Next. And this is the part where you can specify your database. We'll have to put in the password one more time. Uh, object Qualifier, I'm going to leave this blank. Uh, this is if you have multiple applications running off one database, and you wish to have a prefix for the object that um, this application will install. Um, this, this basically prevents from conflict. And so if you're running this application uh, on its own database, just leave it blank. And go ahead and click Next. Okay, seems like the installation is complete. So we'll just go ahead and hit Next again. Okay, at this point, we have to configure the host account or the super user account and this account is created so that you can manage all the portals that can be created under .NET Nuke. You can actually create individual portals and give admin user rights to each one of those portals, yet you can control all the portals from the super user account. So we'll leave the username as host and set a password. And the password has to be at least seven characters long. And then we'll specify an email address and enter an SMTP server. In this case, we'll use smtp.aplade.net. Authentication will be anonymous and select next. Okay, at this point, we have to specify a portal admin account and .NET Nuke will actually go ahead and create the first portal for you. So we're going to leave the username as admin, uh, specify a password, again, at least seven characters. And we'll give an email address. And portal title, we'll leave as my website, uh, default website as the template, and just click Next. Okay, and now we're finished installing .NET Nuke, so we can go to that first site or that first portal. And here's our portal, so now we can just uh, log in. And I'm going to log in as the admin for the portal. If I wanted to create additional portals, I could log in as host. And that's it. We can now start to manage our .NET Nuke website. That concludes the tutorial.